Hi, welcome to the Papers Knob. This is Tara. Today I am working on day 13 of 30 Days of Sketches. This one is created by Brandy Jo. Remember that these are exclusive sketches created specifically for this hop. And this is a fun one. And so I pulled out my counterfeit kit for March and I'm going to be working with it. Um, I just pulled out some bits and pieces and some photos of our animals sleeping together. Just some different pattern papers. And <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the video and get started creating this. So you saw that the um, original sketch had a, kind of a zigzag border going down one side of the paper and I decided that instead of trying to find a chevron border or oh my goodness try to make one I would just cut down the striped paper and put that on my layout. I did use this green stitched circle paper that is from the um, March kit and I'm going to adhere it to the heart paper which is from Felicity Jane. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that striped border. I think that I should have moved it over to the left a little bit more, but I do like my finished layout, so I'm just gonna leave it. So these three photos are of our golden retriever puppy when he was about six months old and our old man kitty smudge who you can barely see because he's black and impossible to take photos of um, smudge does not like tucker smudge has never liked tucker but this particular day we were renovating our house my husband was ripping up the carpet in the living room where the dog bed normally was it was making a lot of loud noises and both pets were scared and so they ran into my office where we put Tucker's bed temporarily and um, snuggled up on it and Smudge let him snuggle with him. I cannot believe he let him snuggle with him. It was really, really funny. And as you can see, my kitty is telling you hi with his little tail. He is sitting in the window and he sees a bird and he is excited. So I am playing with this title. These are Hip Kit Club puffy stickers from I think an October kit in 2021 or maybe even a November kit. Anyway, um, I'm putting them there down at the bottom and I'm titling it that one time because literally I don't think Smudge has ever let Tucker cuddle up with him again in the last eight years. This, these photos were taken in 2015. So it's been a long time and he usually growls at Tucker and swats at him or runs him out of his bed and there's no cuddling involved not with that kitty so I'm trying out different things I threw down some of those print and cut I think those are echo park flowers I printed them and cut it cut them with my cameo I'm gonna try to get a better placement for them later and now I'm adding some of those L studio puffy hearts I'm really trying to figure out how I'm going to get some journaling on here because, of course, I can't just say that one time and then not, you know, write a story. But I'm just kind of playing with it right now and trying to decide where I want things to go. And I'm swapping out that photo or that set of flowers for the smaller set because they're a little bit narrower and they'll fit better. And then I'm going to go ahead and you know, play with a few more of the sticker pieces to see if I can get it, this layout to look the way that I envisioned it would look in my head. Well, the good thing about Cocoa Vanilla stickers is they stay stuck once you put them there. So I brought in my undo so that I can pull this sticker up without damaging it 
or my background. I don't know if you're familiar with Undo. It's an older product and I don't even know if they carry it anymore, but you can pull a sticker up off the back of your layout. It won't damage anything and that greasy looking spot will eventually dry and disappear completely and then you can reuse the sticker. I have saved many a sticker with that and many a layout. So I have glued my flowers down. I believe they're up on some foam adhesive and now I'm just trying to get this title placed differently. The sketch had it down at the bottom. There was not enough room down at the bottom. I didn't like how it looked at the bottom. So I'm moving it up above the photos and then I'm gonna put it next to that first floral cluster. Then as you see, I put that sticker down at the bottom and I'm gonna put that tab over by the left photo. And then those phrases, I'm just gonna kind of mess around with and put them where I think they might look great. So I'm gonna put some back, um, some foam on the back of that strip. You've seen me do this before. That is leftovers from my foam dots. I try to use it all so that I'm not throwing any of the foam away and this is a great way to use it up. One of the reasons why I like to use that backing from my foam dots is because it has the holes in it, which means if you've got a funky piece that you're trying to put foam adhesive on, you can work those little edges around and make it fit perfectly on like a flower or a heart or anything that isn't perfectly straight. Now I'm adding some of the enamel hearts. So now I want to add some splatters and so I'm going to get out my white linen from Delusions out and I'm going to add some splatters in a few places around the clusters and try not to get them on my photos. I really like how the splatters kind of bring a soft focus to the layout without overwhelming it. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. Make sure you check out that playlist below in my description box so that you can see what the other creators are making with these sketches. Bye, have a great day.